So we are back here with the Cincinnati Reds franchise here on MLB The Show 19, getting off a nice opening day win against a division rival, St. Louis Cardinals. And I think we're going to move along here in the month of March. As you can see, the opening day win. Fantastic start with Jock Peterson, four for five. Homer, double. He looked fantastic. Black Guerrero Jr. looked really good. This whole team, Taylor Trammell coming off uh, the fantastic year last year. Everything looking good in the first game. Charlie Morton getting that win in the bullpen, just straight dominating. So very good start, and hopefully we can continue that uh, to start off this month. Uh, you know, well, like to get off to a very hot start with this team because I uh, want to try to obviously make a playoff push this year. So, so far... Through about a couple weeks of looking good so far. We're 11-4, and four, playing uh, some good baseball here to start off the season. You can see we swept that Cardinal series. Uh, they came back, uh, we took two out of four, and then uh, taking two out of three from Pittsburgh, sweep Atlanta, and now we're on to Chicago. So I think we'll hop into a game here against the uh, Chicago White Sox, not that far away from Cincinnati. And uh, we'll see what uh, we got here. We're sitting at an 11-5. We'll have Luis, Luis Castillo on the mound. And the White Sox will have Carlos Rondon on the mound here. 0-1 so far in three starts. ERA very elevated. Uh, getting hit around. Not many walks, just letting up so many hits. And let's see if we can do the same to him in this game. So here we go. Taylor Trammell up 2-1 count to Trammell. He's going to rip this one up the middle. i tell you what, this guy just turning out to be maybe a potential superstar. That is for sure. He just continues to hit after uh, the fantastic year last year as a rookie. And he's just so far continuing this year. So here's Jose Peraza as he drills this one deep. This one is way back, and it is going to be out of here. So what a start. Trammell singles. Peraza with the two-run homer in the first two batters of this ball game. And now we take just like that a 2 to nothing lead. And we still got some danger coming up. So here comes Jock Peterson swinging through that change up there. Now it will be a 1-2 count here to Peterson pitch and he's going to be well behind that fastball strike three so cannot continue so far but here comes Vladimir Guerrero Jr. killing it so far hitting 390 for the first couple weeks and let's see if he can continue it here in this ball game the hot streak so first pitch here to Guerrero Jr. he's going to hit this one high fly ball into deep right field going back but I think that's going to run a room right at the track and that will be out number two in the inning and that'll be the rest of the first. So here comes Luis Castillo. He is off to a fast start. 3-0, 1.71 ERA. Looking fantastic here. Looking to get his uh, fourth win in his fourth appearance. And this is uh, the lineup we got going for the White Sox. So obviously the White Sox still trying to build up their team, young team. But the Yandir Alonso, that free agent signed a few years ago, he is uh, having a good season here so far, hitting 373. But Luis Castillo is having himself a season so far as Bishop goes down swinging for out number two. And that'll bring up Jimenez here. One, two count to Jimenez. And he goes down swinging. And pretty much just about the same exact pitch. Two Ks there in a row for Castillo. And that gets us through the first. So let's hop into the second inning here. One down. Nobody on here for Zazel. So let's see if he can get something rolling here in this second inning. Pitched him. Fastball. He rips that one. That is deep into left field. And that's going to be over the left fielder's head. He'll definitely be on the way to second for a double. So uh, something going here in the second inning. And let's see how our bottom of the order can do. As we got Scott Shebler coming up. Obviously in the AL, we can use the DH now. So Shebler having a chance to show uh, show us what he has here. As that is a hanging, look like maybe a curveball or a slider. And that is hanging out of here. See you later. That one was absolutely crushed. And just like that here in the second inning, like we had in the first, another two-run homer. And it's a 4 nothing game real quick. As now Tyler Stevenson getting the start today. He is uh, looking pretty good so far in his appearances. Hitting over 313. And he rips the one down the line. So what a fast start for this team here in this ball game. He'll be on his way to second. And he will be in there with a double. So Roden's struggling here. It just uh, hasn't even got through the second. Just an inning and a third. And we're already at the top of the lineup again. So here comes Taylor Trammell up. And he's going to rip this one. That'll be in the gap for sure. That'll score Stevenson. Trammell on his way to second base. He'll be in there with another double. That'll make the third double of this second inning and makes it a 5-0 game. And that will make a quick hook for Roden. And he is done after an inning and a third. Not what you want from this White Sox team. And they'll have to go to the bullpen just like that. 
here in the second inning. So here comes Jock Peterson. He's going to try to get a, continue this fine inning going here. But he's just going to pop it up, and that will be out number three, but still at three on. And uh, have a 5 nothing lead here. So Luis Castillo doesn't really have to do much, as that is going to be another strikeout there. And we're through the second. So let's head to the third, two down. Julio Ruiz coming up. A bit of a slow start to the season here as the pitch, and he swings through that nasty change up there in the dirt. And that will be out number three there in the third. So nothing in the third as uh, looks like the White Sox trying to settle some things down here and keep this ball game at least at 5 nothing uh, as we get on to the top, bottom of the third and trying to get some runs on the board here with a two-out base hit there. So uh, trying to get a two-out rally going here. And here comes Bra Baden Bishop. So one-two count here to Bishop. Pitch from Castillo. Swings through the fastball. No two-out rally here as that is another K. And he's through the third. So we head into the fourth two down. And Castillo doesn't get the call there on Alonzo. So now 2-1 count here to Alonzo. And Alonzo's going to crush that one deep. That one is not going to be caught. That'll be off the wall. And Alonzo on his way to second base. He will be in there with a double here with two down. Just made it close, obviously. Closer than I thought it was going to be. But he's in there with second base for the uh, double. And that will bring on Nick, Nicky Delmonico here. And he swings through the changeup. Strike three, sit down. Castillo's through the fourth here. No runs allowed yet. So let's head to the top of the fifth, where actually our offense, since the White Sox have gone to the bullpen, hasn't really been able to get anything going here in this in the last couple innings. But Guerrero's going to walk there and bring up Jesse Winker here. Just the guy who just can hit. Hitting 407 on the season, and he's going to hit this one, but that will be a ground ball right over to the first baseman for out number three. So can't get anything in the fifth, and we'll head to the bottom of the fifth here as Castillo just continues to dominate here. So 3-2 pitch, and that will be another strikeout there to Collins, and that is it for him. And uh, absolutely dominating here so far is Luis Castillo as the White Sox have to continue to use up their bullpen here. As we got one down here in the sixth, that's just going to be a pop fly. I don't really see anything there as the offense. Just like I said, after that, after, uh, you know, a few outs in the second, we have not been able to get anything going here. But luckily for us, Castillo has been a dominating pitch. not allowing the White Sox to get back into this game. So here's Scott Shebler had that home run earlier, and he's going to swing through this one for a strike three. He'll make the play over to first base to get the out. And we'll head now to the bottom of the sixth here. So White Sox trying to figure out Castillo here. And that is going to be a very good start. That's going to be down the line. That will be a double for sure. So it uh, looks like the White Sox here in the sixth inning may be trying to figure something out. Start off with a leadoff double. Do a try to get back into this ball game. So Torres with his first double on the season. And that will bring up Bishop again. He struck out with a man in scoring position before. And this time he's going to pop it up. And that will be a nice play there by Ruiz. So that will be out number one here in this sixth inning. And here comes Yon Mancada. So he has a chance with two down to bring in a man. And he swings through on a high fastball. Strike three. That is what Castillo's been doing this whole game. Gets through it, through it in the sixth. And now heading to the seventh. So in the seventh, two down. That's just going to be a high fly ball there. Out to Peterson. And that should be an easy out number three. And we'll head into the eighth inning with that 5 nothing lead. He's at 91 pitches now. I'm not sure if we'll let him go into the eighth. Um, maybe see if we can get one more inning. That inning helped because I think that was a three-pitch inning. That's why that trophy there popped up. Just a three-pitch inning, so that helped out a lot. So maybe we'll let him go in the eighth as well. As Guerrero Jr. struggling a little, a little bit in this game. Goes down swinging there uh, for the first out here in the eighth. So here comes Jesse Winker. And there we go. Finally trying to get something here. That will be into the gap. Another double here. It's been nothing but doubles in this ball game. it seems like. As Winker on his way to second. He's easily in there with a double here. With one down in the uh, trying to continue to get that lead going up here. You just never know. You never know that, you know, some guy could, teams could go off. You just, you're just not sure. Just want to continue to add as many runs as possible. And Julio Ruiz, the youngster, comes through here with the hit. Winker on his way to the plate. He will score. So we'll add in that run. And now it's going to be a 6 to nothing ball game. And I have to say, the way Castillo's pitched, the way our bullpen's pitching, I think six runs, especially against this kind of weaker White Sox lineup. I think we should be good to go. As that pitch is going to get away, allow Ruiz to move on to second base. So Senzel's going to have a chance here to, um, you know, knock in another run here. So 1-0 pitch here. 
And he's going to rip this one. Will it get deep enough? And it will. That will be in the gap as well. Another double. Ruiz will score at another run, make it 7 to nothing. And this offense is just taking off and is having a fantastic first couple weeks here. And here comes Scott Shebler uh, trying to get whatever he can, obviously, getting the starts. And he just rips one right up the middle. Base hit. Zizel will probably score here. He will in there, sliding head first. He's in. Shebler with a fantastic game. Three RBI in that homer earlier. And uh, knocks this lead up to 8 nothing. And we're having a fantastic eighth after uh, really falling asleep after the second inning. So this eighth inning going fantastic. As Dow Taylor Trammell here with a 2-0 count. He's going to rip one, and that's going to be sliding catch and caught. So that will end the inning. But what a play there out in right field to finally put an end to this uh, disaster of an eighth inning here for this White Sox team. As we will go to the bullpen, uh, Steve's sitting there a little bit longer. We'll let it. We'll bring in Matt Bowman here. He has been struggling. He is probably the only guy so far that's been struggling really. And we're trying to, you know, give him some confidence here. He's got an eight-run lead. Just shut it down here for the final two innings. Doesn't start off well, obviously, as that is a double to start out here for this White Sox team. As that's going to be Sanchez with his third double of the season. So bring up Zach Collins. First pitch to Collins. He's going to rip this one. That one is not even a no-doubter as long as it stays fair. It does. See you later. And the White Sox finally get on the board here in the eighth inning. So those runs there in the top of the eighth looking very important as we don't get those three runs. This game is still uh, just a three-run ball game here. Yeah, that one's no-doubter for sure. See you later. That was well, well out of here. So the struggling season for Bowman continues. Let's up the two runs here, and it just continues with two outs, as that's going to be blooped over the head of the first baseman there, Ruiz. But then Winker kind of mishandles it there, and that will allow the runner to get into second base. So man on second, and here comes Yohan Makata, and he's going to hit this one, and that will fall in front of Trammell, and that will allow the man to score. So White Sox get another run here, making it an 8-3 to three ball game as Makata just Digging there gets into second base. And yeah, we got to talk to him. Uh, not looking good so far. We're going to let him try to get out of this jam as finally that should be enough there as that will be a fly out and that really tough eighth inning. And now we'll bring in Amir Garrett here to try to get out of this ninth as that is going to be Sanchez looking at that one. Strike three. And now we got two down here in the ninth. Trying to put this one away as Zach Collins to the plate. 2-2 two -two count with Delmonico on second base. Garrett's going to get a ground ball there. Perrazzo up with it over to first, and that will do it. So a little bit too late, too little too late for the White Sox. Three runs in the eighth, but they get nothing in the ninth. Mir Garrett shuts him down. Luis Castillo pitched fantastic. Seven innings, no runs allowed, only three hits. He looked great. Twelve strikeouts, just the one walk. Offense comes through really the bottom of the lineup. Uh, Peterson and Guerrero Jr., absolutely nothing in this game. And that, that just shows the strength of this lineup, that's for sure. Uh, we have so many guys that can do so many things. But when you get a per pitching performance like that from Castillo, all you have to do is put up a few runs, and it does not make much of a difference. We'll go over through here some of the stats, see how guys are doing. Scott Shebler, obviously not going to get be able to get as much playing time with how loaded our outfield is with Trammell and uh, Winker, and then you have Peterson. So he just cannot seem to get in there, but he is performing very well. Tucker Barnard struggling, so maybe Tyler Stevenson it is time maybe just to throw him into the, the starting role and just continue with that. Uh, you see Winkler, Winker there with 18 RBIs. I mean, did I mean I thought he would do something, Jesse Winker. It was you know it's really interesting to see what he could do, but obviously last year winning the batting title and then this year just continues to be maybe the best hitter on this team. And that's with Taylor Trammell. And then you have Peterson and Vlad Guerrero Jr. It's been outstanding. You can see a few of the pitchers. Hunter Green struggling a little bit. Maybe next next video we maybe can get a start with him. Arietta so far looking good. Castillo obviously getting that fourth win in four starts. And the bullpen of Davis and Miller really looking fantastic there. Haven't allowed a run yet. So we continue. We're in first base. First place by half game. 12-5 and five here. Just so early in the season, but it's just good. It's good to see us competing. It's good to see us up there in first place here in the first few weeks. So hopefully that can continue the rest of the season and we can make a run at this division. And, you know, the, either the wild card, just try to get in the playoffs. 
any way we can. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.